Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In October 2018, the Ministry of Defense had placed an order worth rupees 200 crore with the OFB for upgunning the Indian Army's vintage Soviet era 130mm M46 artillery guns. The Indian Army wanted to upgun five regiments consisting of 300 artillery guns out of around 1000 it acquired from Soviet Union. As for the contract, the barrel and breech blocks were to be replaced. In addition, new sighting systems and a new hydraulic rammer to ease loading of shells were to be added. The Sharing Upgrade Kit was picked at about Rs 70 lakhs per gun, which is less than one-fifth the cost of brand new towed field artillery gun. So basically, Sharang is an upgraded version of Soviet era 130mm M46 to 155mm 45 caliber gun called Sharang, which means Vishnu's bow. The completely indigenous Sharang gun system was indigenously developed with modification of Soltam 130mm imported Russian gun system at Gun Carriage Factory. Notable improvements with Sharang are the 45 caliber gun barrel chambered for 155 mm ammunition. The breech loading mechanism was altered. The wheels supporting the carriage were changed and the trails, the twin legs for stabilizing the weapon's recoil were redesigned as well made more sturdier. The 155 mm shells has 8 kg of TNT while a 130mm shell has only 3.4 kg of TNT. This cannon has a special ability to destroy enemies hiding in mountains. It can be elevated up to an angle of 70 degrees. The gun's range has now also gone up from 27 km to over 36 km with the upgrade. OFB claims that the Sharan can strike up to a range of 36 km away without specifying if this means firing conventional or rocket assisted projectiles. As per few more reports, it has a striking range of around 39 km. It also has more explosive capability and hence more damage potential. The weapon system is simple to operate and maintain. Sharang Toad Gun is designed for worldwide service under all climatic conditions and can fire all existing standard 155mm ammunition. This step will reduce the logistic trail of army as it does away with the need to carry 130mm shells and support equipments as the mainstay of army's long-range artillery is 155mm guns. Now, the first indigenous Sarang modified artillery gun system was handed over to Army in February 2020. Again, in September 2020, the OFP commenced the delivery of these guns to Indian Army. As per latest update from Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited, Indian Army has successfully inducted three regiments of Sarang and is quite happy with the performance of gun as it has outperformed the required standards of accuracy as well as consistency. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.